This video will cover troubleshooting of Dactronic Sport Sound Systems using the Cobernet Discovery software. Before opening Cobernet Discovery, make sure your IP address is set to 192.168.1.160. Your subnet mask should be set to 255.255.0.0. Your wireless adapter should be off and any VPN software should be closed. After opening Cobernet Discovery, a list of all the devices on the network will display. If everything is connected properly and communicating, the list will display each Cobernet device and their properties. The following column headings are located at the top of the screen. If they are not displayed, right click on a column heading and select any that are missing. If they are not in this order, they can be dragged for repositioning if desired the S or status column, IP address, MAC address, error count, sys description, sys name, sys contact, sys location, RX1, TX1, and the error code column which is useful for additional troubleshooting. For troubleshooting, the first thing to look at is that all the devices in the system are present in Cobernet Discovery. The number of devices can be found in the amplifier field guide, DD, 318172. If no devices show up, make sure you are connected to the network. If not every device in the system is showing up, it is likely a connection issue, power issue, or defective device. Verify that everything is connected to the network and powered on. If devices were found disconnected or powered off, refresh the page or restart Cobernet Discovery after they are brought online. If every device shows up, shows online in the status column, and all information populates, the following steps can be used for system troubleshooting. First verify that the sys descriptions column is correct for the system being worked on. Look in the amplifier field guide for the correct values. If the values don't match the field guide, follow the instructions located in the field guide to update firmware. Also check that the amplifier IP addresses are set correctly with AMP1 starting at 192.168.4.11 and the rest going up sequentially. The next step would be to verify the RX1 and TX1 values. There are three pieces to the information displayed in the RX1 column separated by slashes. The first is the bundle number. For Dactronic standard systems this should always be 1. The second is the RX status. This will be 1 when the AMP is receiving a Cobernet signal and 0 if it isn't so if everything is working properly, it should show a 1. The third is receive dropouts. This counts the number of dropouts in the Cobernet signal. The number should always be 0 if there are no issues. The TX column shows the transmitter status. There are also three pieces to the information displayed in the TX column separated by slashes. The first is the bundle number, which for Dactronic standard system should always be 1. The second is the number of receivers being served by this transmitter. This should match the number of amplifiers on standard sports sound systems. The third is the transmit dropouts. This counts the number of times a transmit dropout occurs. This should be zero if there are no issues. The amplifiers will only have RX1 values because they are received devices, whereas the media converter will only have TX1 values since it is a transmitting device. If any of the values don't match, for example, the RX1 value says zero, Right click on the amplifier and click configure. Click advanced and verify that the persistence checkbox is checked. Click OK and find the RX1 bundle. Change this number to 1 and click OK. You'll see the RX1 column value update. If there is an error count that continues to rise throughout the session, there is likely a networking problem that needs to be resolved. An error number other than zero initially can be caused by devices coming online or routing changes, but it should stop going up once everything is booted and connected. An additional troubleshooting option is checking the error codes in the previously mentioned error code column. To decode the errors, open DD3554959, Cobernet Discovery Error Code Lookup. Once open, find the error code in Cobernet Discovery and enter it into the Enter Error Code cell and press enter. This will display the error description and possible conditions causing the error at the bottom of the form. Thank you for watching. For more information on Dactronics audio systems, go to www.dactronics.com/audio.